Hey guys, Dr. Nicole here talking to you today about what happens if I have a labral tear in addition to my pelvic floor dysfunction. So this can be a little bit complicated, but I'm going to try to simplify it for you guys. So in general, if you have evidence of a labral tear or someone suspects that you have a labral tear because of the way that your hip is presenting with pain, which is usually pain in the anterior or the front of the hip, and maybe some clicking, popping, every once in a while some catching, something like that. A lot of times what happens is that we go, we get imaging, and then we hold on to that imaging as if the labral tear is causing all of your issues, all of your hip pain, all of your pelvic floor dysfunction, all of it, because it's an easy scapegoat. But the reality is, is that the labrum gets blamed a lot when it's actually not the symptom generator. In fact, in a study that was done in people that did not have pelvic floor dysfunction and didn't have hip pain, so completely asymptomatic people, they actually found evidence of labral tears in almost 70% of people. So what does that tell us? What that tells us is that the hip labrum is not always the pain generating factor for hip pain, or for pelvic floor dysfunction. And so what I want you to think about is that no matter who you're seeing, if you're seeing a pelvic health physical therapist or you're seeing an orthopedic physical therapist for hip pain or pelvic floor dysfunction, I want you to think about the two scenarios that I'm gonna present here. If you're pressing being seen primarily for hip pain and you have that anterior hip pain and potentially some other pelvic floor dysfunction causes um, in addition to that, I want you to think about the fact that the pelvic floor can actually be a pain generator to the hip. And this is why. The pelvic floor muscles, anything that you see here in red, have calm, very common pain referral patterns to the hip and the low back. And one muscle in particular that is called the obturator internus, it's depicted here all along the side wall of the pelvis, it's huge on the internal side of the pelvis. On the external side of the pelvis, it's this teeny little thing that is actually covered up a ton by your glutes. Now, the obturator internus can actually generate a lot of pain that can mimic hip labral tears, and it can also mimic hip pain that comes into the front of your hip. So if you're somebody that has been being seen by an orthopedic physical therapist that also might have a couple of urinary symptoms, maybe some constipation, maybe some other sexual pain every once in a while, or some other instances where you might have pelvic floor dysfunction, it is 100% indicated for you to potentially get evaluated by a pelvic health physical therapist to see if we can actually reproduce any of that pain that's coming that you think is coming from your hip but it actually might be coming from your pelvic floor conversely if you are a patient that is going to your pelvic health physical therapist and you either have some hip pain a little bit also but you can't you're having a hard time with the pelvic floor actually releasing and figuring out why your pelvic floor is causing a lot of your symptoms Sometimes the why of your pelvic floor dysfunction is actually laying outside into the hip. And so hip dysfunction, anterior hip pain, and asymptomatic labral tears, and even labral tears that are present that are causing some hip dysfunction, but that aren't going to be surgically repaired, can actually cause pelvic floor dysfunction because of that really intricate relationship that I just showed you guys with the pelvic floor and the obturator internus. So what should you do? If you are a patient and your therapist, either ortho or pelvic, is not looking at both areas, then it really needs to be that somebody is looking both at the pelvic floor component to your pelvic floor dysfunction and your hip dysfunction, as well as the hip presentation of that orthopedic component as well. Conversely, if you're seeing an orthopedic therapist and you're just not getting the right uh, mix of, of therapies that can actually decrease that pain, and you especially if you think that you might have pelvic floor dysfunction as well, then it's best to get to a pelvic health physical therapist 
to, in order to see if that can be a contributing factor to your stubborn hip pain. Bottom line is that these things are so intricately related that the best course of action, in my opinion, is to go to somebody that can do both. So your pelvic physical therapist should be able and definitely should be looking for orthopedic components to your pelvic floor dysfunction. And so hopefully we have that symbiotic relationship either with two practitioners or um, best of both worlds all into one with all of our therapists at Pelvic Sanity look at the pelvic floor from an orthopedic dysfunction uh, standpoint as well. So the best case scenario is that you get both things looked at so that you can make sure that one isn't causing the other. And if you have any um, questions about whether or not pelvic floor physical therapy is right for you, we have something called the Cuisine Pelvic Floor Dysfunction Screening Protocol, which is a series of 10 questions that if you answer three yes to three or more of them, then pelvic floor dysfunction is 91% likely to be causing or contributing to some of the symptoms that you're currently dealing with, and which would indicate that you need to also check your pelvic floor with a pelvic floor physical therapist. So I hope that helps to clear up any misconceptions about how intricately related the hip and the pelvic floor can be. Remember that the obturator internus can mimic labral tear pain and labral pain and hip pain and hip dysfunction can create pelvic floor dysfunction. So the best case scenario is that you find somebody that can assess and treat and make sure that each of those things are cleared so that you can get the optimal pelvic health and orthopedic components to your symptoms. I hope that helps. Thank you.